So a few months back, a few of you might remember the story that Deadspin did about a young Chiefs fan who they accused of actually disparaging Native Americans and black people. So they accused this boy because he painted his face and of course the, the, the picture they took only showed half of his face and the fact that he was wearing a headdress um, and he was a Chiefs fan attending a Las Vegas Raiders game in Las Vegas against the Kansas City Chiefs. They basically said that uh, the young kid was guilty of cultural appropriation, that he was, uh, well, being racist, in fact. Well, <laughs> just so happens that um, the story has uh, kind of been brought back to life a little bit. Uh, here we have from outkick.com. Deadspin loses bid to dismiss defamation suit over accusing nine-year-old Chiefs fan of blackface. <laughs> All I got to say is this couldn't happen to a better journalistic organization. A Delaware judge rejected a motion by Deadspin to dismiss a defamation lawsuit for falsely accusing a nine-year-old NFL fan of wearing blackface in an article, according to the Associated Press. Last November, then Deadspin writer Karen J. Phillips published a photo of a kid named Holden Armenta from a Chiefs game wearing a Native American headdress and his face painted. Now, again, his face was painted half black, half red, and Mr. Phillips decided to show a photo of said Chiefs fan only showing the black half of his face painted. Armenta painted his face half red and half black, as I just pointed out, in support of his favorite team, the Kansas City Chiefs. However, Phillips' face, Phillips' article, only showed one side of the child's face, the side painted black. I don't have the photos here, otherwise I would pull them up. Let's, uh... Here we go. Here's the photo for you guys. So, basically what, what they did is they just showed the half black side of his face. And as the article here in Out Outkick points out, quite the difference, no? In the article titled, the NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface, native headdresses, Phillips stated with certainty that the boy had found a way to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time. Now, the reality of the story is, um, young Holden's family is actually Native American. Ouch. Deadspin posted the article on November 27, 2023, but did not correct the piece until December 7th when the family threatened legal action. Yet when the site finally added an editor's note to the article and retained, and retained the accusations of racism, the outlet tried to defend itself with two easily provable lies. The first one being that they claimed that they were unaware of the full photo until it received a letter from the family's lawyer. That's not true. Uh, anybody that watched the game, the broadcast, they sh if I remember correctly, they showed young Holden during the broadcast during the game. And you can plainly tell that his face was painted Half black, half red. Photos of Holden's full face were widely available at the time Deadspin posted the article and posted across the internet afterwards. Outkick set Deadspin a full photo of Armenta's face painted red and black on November 29th, asking why it had refused to correct the piece. Phillips admitted to knowing the fan was not wearing blackface on November 28th. 
And this is Phillips speaking here, quote, for the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some harmless act because the other side of his face was painted red, I can make the argument that it makes it even worse. How does it make it worse? Really? Y'all the ones who hate Mexicans but wear sombreros on Cinco de Mayo Day. I... What's that got to do with the cost of tea in China? Just asking a question. So for 11 days, Deadspin left published an article while knowing it contained a deceptively edited screenshot used to smear a nine-year-old child. Now, the second thing they did is that they stated that the intended focus of the article was on the NFL and not the fan. Which isn't true because the first paragraph of the article claimed the fan, not the NFL, hated both black people and Native Americans. This isn't the actual article here. This was their um, supposed update to the original article posted on November 27th. The Armenta family officially filed a defamation lawsuit against Deadspin in February, alleging that the author, Karen Phillips, maliciously and wantingly attacked their son as part of a race-drenched political agenda to generate clicks. Well, I gotta say, you know, the, the, the objective of writing pieces like that is to get eyeballs on their stories, just like myself and any other content creator when we create videos like this, it's to get eyeballs, generate views. So, yeah, he is trying to generate clicks, but he did it, in my opinion, in the wrong way. By going after a nine-year-old child who is just at a football game rooting on his favorite team. According to the lawsuit, the Armentas started receiving hateful messages and death threats after Deadspin published the piece. Specifically, the suit alleges that one person threatened to delete Holton with a wood chipper. That just goes to show people are sick. That's what that is. People are sick. The Armentas say they made repeated requests to, to Deadspin to retract the article, which it would not. The family's legal case is strong, according to Outkick. Lexi Rigdon, an attorney and frequent legal analyst for Fox News, provided the following explanation to Outkick last November about the lawsuit and the family's chances of succeeding. Although defamation laws vary state by state, in general, to prove defamation, a plaintiff would have to show that a false statement was made, i.e., holding wearing blackface, that the statement was published to third parties. It's all over the internet. I mean, heck, it even got Elon's attention. That the defendant knew it was false or was at least was negligent in publishing it. Well, that, that's apparent. Because Karen Phillips doubled down defending his so-called article in Deadspin. And they knew full photos were out there. And damages that some harm was caused to the plaintiff's reputation. I would say threats to delete young Holden um, would rise to that level. Superior Court Judge Sean Lugg agrees with Rigdon's analysis. On Monday, he rejected Deadspin's argument that the article was an opinion and thus protected from liability or defamation. Deadspin published an image of a child displaying his passionate fandom as a backdrop for its critique of the NFL's diversity efforts and in its description of the child crossed the fine line protecting its speech from defamation claims. That was written by the judge. Having reviewed the complaint, the court concludes that Deadspin's statements accusing H.A. of wearing blackface and native headdresses 
to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time, and that he was taught by this hatred by his parents are provable false assertions of fact and are therefore actionable. In March, a month after the Armentas filed the lawsuit against Deadspin, parent company GO Media sold the site to an obscure European firm called Lineup Publishing. New ownership subsequently fired the entire Deadspin staff. Phillips, accurately described in the Armentas lawsuit as someone who makes his livelihood through vicious race baiting, remains unemployed. You no, know, the First Amendment's a, a great thing. Because the First Amendment allows you to put out crap like Karen Phillips did and then get blasted for it. And in this case, even sued. As it says here, he deserves to be, meaning unemployed. So does every editor and executive who allowed the story to remain on the site. They falsely and willfully framed a nine-year-old as a racist for cheap clicks and profits. That is indefensible. And it is. So even, even the company that bought Deadspin, they, they bought what is basically a, I'll just say it, they bought a dead news site. Because nobody's, nobody, 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 at least in my opinion, can trust what Deadspin puts out more. So there you have it. A little story that happened of last November is, is um, popped back up again. And all I got to say is good for you to the Armentas for standing your ground. And um, as for young Holden, keep doing what you're doing, kid. Keep supporting your team. Do it any way you, you feel you, you need to or you, you want to. Um, with that, what do you guys think? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.